The Coliseum is now under the authority of the Hunting Blades. Withdraw immediately! Nan! You've got to stop! Carol! What are you doing here? You know that fights between guilds are strictly forbidden by the Union! What are you talking about? This job was commissioned to us directly by the Union itself! What? Harry! What are you doing here? Hey, isn't that someone from the Union we met in Dongrest? That's the Don's grandson, Harry. The Don's grandson? Just what in blazes is going on here, son? You're under the same orders from the Don yourself, right? To locate Apathea? Sure, but what does that have to do with all the commotion here? Judith! What's the matter? There! Nuts! Come on! Damn it! I wasn't done with them! Wait! I thought I ordered you to withdraw! Raven is with them, and he's an ally. Let them be! Nan! Oh, down to your last friend? Why not play with us for a while? More of Belius's minions, huh? We're brave, Vesperia! I don't care how brave you are! Death to those who side with the monsters! Sorry if I hurt you! These guys are just going crazy.
Looks like we got here in time. You must be a healer. You've saved me. I wonder if Bellius is okay. Ah! Duce! Nats, you are unhurt. You would yet challenge me, humans? Your kind is the root of all evil. The root of evil, Bellius? Well, you got it all wrong. Just look. All monsters serve evil. They must be hunted down. It, it is up to us, to the hunting blades. These idiots have got rocks for brains. You, you monsters are all alike. Judy! Duce! I'll heal you. You mustn't. Your power is... No. W what can this mean? She reacted to Estelle's formula? But this is... What's going on? I was too late. What have I done? If this keeps up, it'll bring down the Colosseum. Duce Bellius! Please control yourself! Duce! We have no choice but to try and stop her with force. But we're dead if we hold anything back against someone like this. I can't believe this! But it doesn't look like we have a choice. Elias. Estelle, wake up! Right. Here she comes! Killed, huh? I'm well, sorry, but I'm not getting killed here. Kill me! Was I wrong? No, you weren't. You weren't. What is my power? The poison that Pharaoh talked about. Live. I won't hold back. That's the only way, right? <laughs>
gonna make you hurt now. All right. Fireball! Over. It's my fault. I'm not done yet. It's over! Dutre! No! What now? I never thought this would happen. I'm sorry. I... I... Worry not. You were thinking only of saving me. Oh... I'm so sorry. I just... Power corrupts. But you... You are different. Never lose that kindness. The compassion you so readily show to others. Now, 
Go to Pharaoh, if you would learn of your destiny. To Pharaoh? That's... There is much I owe you. Do not harbor a grudge toward these people. Duce! No! Wait! No, I beg you, don't go! Bellius, farewell. This is... is this the same as what was in the case from the ghost ship? Anapathea! What does that mean? Convey my soul, this cyano seal, to my ally, Don Whitehorse. So, this must have been what Harry meant. Humans! We'll be taking that stone. Is this what you guys were after? Hope you don't think we'll just let it go. Then, we'll just have to pound on you until you do. That's enough! Everyone throw down your weapons! Damn, look who's here. You! Take anyone still standing in the Colosseum into custody. We're gonna wind up in chains if we don't blow this scene. But we haven't done anything to warrant being arrested. I don't think they'd have any trouble cooking up a reason to put us behind bars. You're right. Escape is our best option. I've secured an escape! Hurry! Okay, we're getting out of here for now. No, I... I don't want to go anywhere. My power... it really is a poison. I, I thought I could help her, but I only brought about her death. I couldn't save her. W what are you doing? There. You saved me, didn't you? What? But I... Let's move. Okay. Wait! Bellius, how could something like this happen? There was still so much we needed to ask. Yeah. Think of all the knowledge that only an Entelakea would have. Not to mention her perspective as the Duce of Palestrale. Why couldn't we have met her sooner? Yuri... This place is swarming with knights. We've no choice but to go out through the harbor then. But what if the harbor is blockaded too? Well, the Weasand of Kados is blocked off. If we have to get out of here, I'd say breaking out through the harbor is our best bet. Ah! Escaping by sea might be better, yes! Exactly. Sorry, Patty, but can I ask you to pilot the ship? Aye, aye. Leave it to me. Time to show you what I can do. I hope it's actually got a new Ceres Blastia, though. Perfect. Then I'll handle the Blastia. Hey, where's the old man? You don't need to worry about him. He'll turn up soon enough. Right. 
He's the sort of guy who shows up as soon as you start to feel relieved he's gone. Yuri Lowell, this is the end of the line! Lady Estelis, you must return with us. Captain Flynn is worried about you. But I... I... Estelle's not going back with you. All right, let's hurry to the harbor. Flynn! Looks like we can't put one over on this guy. Return Lady Estelise and the stone. Flynn, what do you want with the Apatheia? So the Knights are trying to get a hold of this thing, too. That's why the hunting blades were here. It's like what that guy in Jormgen said. The Apatheia brings only chaos to humanity. So it's true. Hand it over. Whoa, is he serious? Just what the hell are you doing? Using the military to get control of the city? That's taking things a bit far. Maybe you're carrying out your duty, but you can't just go around doing everything by force. Captain, awaiting orders. I thought you were with the Knights to change things like that. I don't know why I'm the one who has to be saying this stuff. You know it full well yourself. <sighs> Cat got your tongue? I mean, how's this any different from what I've come to expect from the Empire? Are you gonna follow Rago and Kumor's examples? If I did, would you just kill me as well? Would you do away with me like you did Rago and Kumor? Huh? What is he? If you go and become a villain, you won't be giving me much choice. Yuri? You mind saving this charming little squabble for another time? We're sort of in a hurry, right? <laughs> Come on! Captain! What was Flynn saying about Yuri and Rago? Save it! You men! Raise the anchor! Yeah, man! Raise the anchor! Raven! Where did you come from? Don't suppose it'd be too much trouble to take one more with us. Hey! That's the guy! Judy? Where's this power coming from? Is it the Ceres Blastia? Yeah! We broke through! The rudder handling's perfect! What's the deal with this formula? I've never seen anything like it! What? What are you doing? No! Stop! Why would you... This is the path I have chosen. You're that dragon freak! Judy, wait! Goodbye. Judith? Why? Why?
Our genius mage is given the Sarasplastia her undivided attention. Sounds like the core on the new Blastia is pretty much totaled. It's a good thing we had that merchant lady change the Saris Blastia for us. That's Kaufman for you. She always goes above and beyond in keeping her word. So luckily we still have the old Blastia around. Either way, looks like we'll be drifting out here for now. Looks that way. I'm worried about the ship's heading. I'll go check it out. What are Carol and Estelle up to? They're a bit down in the dumps. Why don't you go check in on them? You'd probably be better at cheering them up, old man. You know I'm not cut out for that stuff. Guess I've had a hand in dampening the mood around here, too. Might as well see how they're doing. I knew Judy's secret would get out someday, but not like this. A little heads up would have been nice. I don't know what to think about anything anymore. to deal with. I'm a little mixed up. Sorry for dragging you around, repeat. Right, there's nothing else to be sorry about after all these years. <laughs> okay, so what should we start with? Before anything else, we'll need to have the ship moving. I was okay with taking out bad people on my own, but I couldn't tell the others. Not before with Estelle, and not now. I gotta face up to the choices I've made. It's been weighing on Carol, too. Who knows what'll happen to brave Vesperia. Ah, there you are, boy. You sure have your own way of doing things, old man. Then again, I guess it's your only redeeming quality. Hey, way to hurt a man's feelings. I've got a ton of redeeming qualities. That's one list you can just keep to yourself. I have to tell you, I was so surprised to find out that Bellius was that beast. Sorry, I mean Entelikea, was it? Yeah, but it seems like the story about her engineering the Great War was a lie. Probably just an excuse the Empire made up for them to invade Nordopolica. Maybe, yeah. So is that the Don's grandson? How'd he end up here, anyway? This idiot got fed false information by Leviathan's Claw and acted without thinking. I heard that an ally of the Dons had been captured by a monster, and I thought I'd come to save him. And then, I heard that the monster possessed Apatheia, so... They said that Bellius had been captured? Apparently that's what Leviathan's Claw said. So they went down there with the hunting blades to kill the monster. And that monster was actually Bellius, so even though you got the Apatheia, the ally you were supposed to save ended up dying. Yeah. You need to learn to take things slower. Check your information before you rush out all ready for battle. Damn it! What the hell do you know? Things like this happen, I guess. Having the Don for a grandfather puts a lot of pressure on the boy. Anyone with a grandfather like that would be expected to work their butt off, yeah. Everyone expects too much of him, so he works hard not to let anyone down. And then things like this happen. Palastrales not going to be too happy about this. Even if he didn't have any choice but to fight, I doubt they'll take that for an excuse. That Nats guy should forgive us, I think. That would be nice, but Nats isn't the Duce. It's the others in the guild we have to worry about. Well, I don't know how to get out of this mess. For now, I'm going to take him to see the Don. Take the ship to Doncrest as soon as it's working again, would you? Gotcha. I actually do know how to get out of this, but... An eye for an eye. It's a matter between guilds, after all. Hmm. 
Does it look like it'll be okay? Oh, well, it's pretty bad. Jeez, this isn't usable at all. Damn it. I can't believe that Judith was... Why was she with us in the first place? That dragon, Baul, right? It attacked us back in Heliord, didn't it? You've got a good memory. That's not the sort of thing I easily forget. Do you think they were going after Estelle back then? Yes, she knew. She knew about Estelle. You didn't already know that she was that dragon freak, did you? Yeah. Damn it, I can't believe you! We all have our reasons for what we've done. You and Judy both. You mean... And me too, of course. You mean Ruggo and Kumor? Huh. I don't care much about what happened to them. What you did may have been a crime. But if you ask me, though the severity of the crime may differ, there's no such thing as someone suspected without cause. Are you saying the same goes for you? Who knows? I mean, even that woman was... Judy was a loyal member of our party. That's how it looked to me, at least. Yeah, that's true, but... If she had just shared what she knew about the Child of the Full Moon, and about the Entelechaea, Estelle's problems might already have been solved by now. It depends, doesn't it? Pharaoh told her she was poison after all. You know, it's possible she knew where Pharaoh was from the very beginning. Yeah, maybe so. Either way, I'll never forgive her for breaking that Blastia. Well then, if Judy comes back, you can feel free to beat her up. She's not coming back. Hmm, I couldn't say. Can you see anything? I don't see anything at all. After what happened to Bellius, and with Judith breaking our Blastia and running away, I just don't know what to think anymore. Oh yeah? And then you went and cut your arm like that. <laughs> that was painful. It's not funny. But you healed me. I couldn't just ignore you, could I? I can't just ignore someone who's injured in front of me. So what are you all rattled about? Don't you remember? Bellius said to take good care of your kind nature. My power is the reason that the Entelechaea hate me, isn't it? What's with you being able to use magic without Blastia? Even if I make an effort not to use my power on the Entelechaea, to them, I'll still be evil. That's why Pharaoh was trying to kill me. But Belia said you should try to meet Pharaoh, didn't she? Yeah, in order to discover my destiny. But I wonder, is that really right? No, that can't be. I'm the one who'll decide my destiny. Now you've got the idea. How's the ship heading? Hmm, apparently we're being pushed north by the current. I see. Sorry for making you come all the way out here with us. Don't worry about it. This was my plan from the beginning, anyway. Well, I'm happy that we've got someone who knows how to pilot a ship, but... You've got to go treasure hunting to get your memory back, right? That's okay. I'm just gonna take it easy. Life's longer than a bright red eel's ear or a slimy eel's body. Well, that's better than living life fast and recklessly. Besides, it ain't bad being here with you, Yuri. I'm glad to hear that. When I think about that, I start feeling like maybe my past doesn't really matter. But that doesn't mean you're gonna quit searching for your memories, does it? I, I'd like to know more about my grandfather. So I can figure out what I'm going to do in the future. And how I should think about the name Ivory. 
I see. Then I guess you can't stay with us forever, huh? I... But I've realized that there are many more good things when I'm with others than when I'm by myself. So, when my memory returns, I'd like to travel with all of you again. Yeah, if we get the chance, that might not be a bad idea. When that time comes, maybe Judy can also... I don't know. Judy has her own reasons for not being able to be with us. I hope your reasons haven't changed by then, though. Yeah... Oh! Yuri! What's the matter? You look more serious than usual. Yeah... I was just thinking about how hard it is to put a guild together. I thought things might go okay since I was with you guys, but... Have you lost faith in your ability to lead the guild? No! Not at all! I'm working as hard as I can! Alright, then I'll borrow from your attitude and do the best I can too. Hey, Yuri. Can I ask you something? Yeah? Is it true that you... that you killed Rago and Jumor? It's true. How could you keep that from me? I kept meaning to tell you. I'm sorry. Even though I think it's bad, you don't regret killing them, do you? Yeah, I don't. I just don't know. Flynn and Estelle were trying to bring them to justice, too. Did you really have to kill them? I think there are some things that you have to do. Even if they're a crime. Someone has to do them. Even if it means taking the blame. Maybe so, but even still... I just did what had to be done. You shouldn't force yourself to try to accept what I did. Yeah... I've finished making adjustments to the Blastia. I've checked all the other parts, too. Everything's ready. That's great! We'll be able to use the boat again! If you don't mind, I'd like to bring Harry back to Dongris first. We need to head to Dongris, too. Right! We've got to deliver Bellius' Apatheia! Why don't you let old Raven take care of that for you? What do you say? We couldn't ask that of you. Oh. That hurts. Still can't trust me after all we've been through, huh? It wasn't a formal request, but I feel we should honor Bellius' dying wish. It would be unjust if we didn't deliver it. Yeah. Besides, we're also at fault for Bellius ending up like she did. We've got to own up to what we've done. The Dawn also might know why everyone wants these Apatheas so badly. He was trying to get his hands on one, too, don't forget. If we can learn more about the Apatheia, we might find out why Flynn's been using such extreme measures. Well then, I'll make sure to set things up with the Don for you. Really? A wiser man than I once said, even chance acquaintances are decreed by destiny. If it's meant to be, I don't mind putting in the effort for brave Vesperia. I'm going to meet with the Don, too. You too, Rita? A lot has happened, and I get the feeling it's all connected to this Apatheia somehow. So... It was the Don that told us to go find the Apatheia in the first place. He just might have something up his sleeve. So, Rita, you're with us as far as Dongrest? I'm going to Dongrest, too. Because going with us is profitable? Well, as long as you're piloting the ship, this works out well for us, too. It's not just that. I'm going because it sounds like there might be clues about my memory in Dongrest. Didn't you say that the Dawn in Dongrest was a friend of Eifried's? Hmm? Oh yeah, I was talking about how Eifried and the Dawn worked together when they fought the Empire. 
then the Dawn might be able to give me some clues about my memory. Well, if that's the case, then let's travel together. Jeez, that old geezer sure is popular. I hope he doesn't get so busy that he faints. That only leaves Estelle. I think she needs some time alone. I agree. I wonder when we'll see Judith again. Hey, once we've delivered the Apatheia, let's go see if we can find her. That's not a bad idea. Besides, she broke the guild laws, and you know we can't just let that slide. Right. At least not without hearing her reason. But first up is Dongrist. There'll be a stretch of beach along the southern edge of Tolbikia where we can lay anchor. I'd wager that'd put us as close to Dongrist as we could hope. Okay, sounds like we've got our destination.
This looks easy. One shot ch to do. <laughs> Ready? Got anything up there? Ooh! 